So this is the Bridge Pro Dock, and it's a dock or hub for your 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pro, as well as the new MacBook Air. That's not only going to help you dock your Mac to an external monitor, but it's also a hub with a few other tricks up its sleeve. So unboxing the Bridge Pro Dock is pretty self-explanatory. These are the main essentials, but inside you'll get the three main inserts. Well, there's these two and then I already attached this one. Uh, you'll get a mini screwdriver, some screws and a power cable and all of that. So the inserts range from this MacBook Air one right here. This one's for the 14 inch MacBook Pro. And then I have the one on for the 16 inch MacBook Pro. So on the dock, you'll see a switch to go from the 16 inch MacBook Pro to the 14 inch Pro or the new MacBook Air. So make sure it's in the right spot. Then you'll get the two screws and you'll go ahead and insert them here at the bottom and then you'll just tighten them up and that'll make sure that the sleeve where you put your MacBook is nice and secure. There are also a few MacBook USB-C port covers so that you don't actually scratch up the aluminum when you're sticking the MacBook inside of the dock. Uh, I found that if you're very, very careful when placing your MacBook inside of this, like if you go really slowly, uh, you really shouldn't have any scratches. It seems to kind of fit perfectly and I didn't notice it like hitting the sides of the MacBook. So one of the main features of this dock is also it's a hub for port expansion. So while yes, you do lose those two internal USB-C ports on the MacBook when you stick it inside the sleeve here. You do get back three here on the back, then there's three USB type A ports, an ethernet port, uh, this is where you plug it in for power. And then if you turn it over here, you have another USB-C port, a SD card slot. And then on this side, there is a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. I believe these three here are Thunderbolt 4. And then this one on the side here is just a standard USB-C port. And then one of the more unique aspects of the Bridge Pro Dock is that there's actually a MagSafe charger. There's a wireless charger built right onto the base. So when you have it docked, stick your MacBook in, put your phone down on here, and you can have everything clean, very minimal, no wires at your desk for basically charging your laptop, getting it all hooked up to your external monitor and charging your iPhone or any other phone really. Uh, but this is MagSafe compatible, so an iPhone would fit best. You can easily drop your MacBook in the dock, the phone on the charger, and then you have an all-in-one solution, which honestly is really nice. I've been using this dock for the last couple of weeks and I really, really enjoy it. I think there's one major issue though that's gonna hang, you know, be quite the hang up for a lot of people. So hear me out, the price. It is a bit hard for me to recommend at $400 when you can easily get a dock for less. However, I've looked up a lot of the ones that I've checked out in the past and they range anywhere from $150 to $299. And none of them are as feature rich or have as many ports, primarily USB-A, uh, than this one. Now, if you don't need USB-A, then maybe a dock with just an extra few USB-C ports, Ethernet, SD card, you can get all that for like 150 bucks from OWC and that might be good enough. But where I can see why Bridge priced this dock that high is because this is really one of the only Thunderbolt 4 docks that I've seen to feature this many ports, this level of functionality, and then hey, a bonus MagSafe wireless charger on top of it all. It keeps your MacBook and your desk setup looking clean and tidy. You get a stand for your MacBook, which could be an extra 50 bucks potentially on depending on what you go with. You get the USB-C hub, and then I guess you get that charger, and it's just kind of a great combination for all of those products built into one. And when you start adding it up, it gets pretty close to four hundred dollars if not more i'm not trying to make excuses for the price point i think 250 to 300 would be acceptable again i think it just takes all of those product categories you know a dock a USB-C, well a thunderbolt 4 hub which is important to note uh and then you know you get a bonus magsafe charger maybe you didn't need that but hey at least it's on there uh and you have all of this into one neat and tidy operation here uh that 400 hundred dollar price tag maybe i'm just justifying it to my it starts to make a little bit more sense and then also the versatility if you share a desk with your uh, significant other or someone else in your household and they have a different MacBook than you. Maybe they have the 2022 MacBook Air and you have a 14 inch or 16 inch MacBook Pro. You guys can actually interchange and use this. And so I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Is there something else out there that I might've missed that might be better than this? Please let me know. But if not, um, you know, let me know what you think about the Bridge Pro Dock again in those comments down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you around in the next video.